So these coffee syrups, I just put some of this into my coffee and that's all I added and it's really good. Isn't that amazing, Matt? Really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm making fun of you. Isn't that amazing though? Yeah. I didn't add anything else yeah. other than just like a splash of this. And it's sweet enough. Thank you, sir. Just a whisper. Just a whisper. Um, what, are we, what are we doing Christmassy today? God, I don't know. Driving by some Christmas lights? We could go to Scythe and Town. We could. Or we could watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> I'll be watching Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, we're done with that. Stupid. Stupid! What's up, guys? So, I am heading to the gym right now, and the camera is in an awkward place because I'm just going to overlay some gym footage for y'all while I talk about the holidays and staying on track. So, a lot of people take the holidays and they turn them into an excuse to fall off track, to stay off track, and basically just not do anything. And I understand because it's hard. Where you've got holiday parties, you've got get-togethers, all of these different occasions coming up, it's easy to let yourself slip into the mindset of, well, this is already messed up. I've already messed up my diet. I've already missed, you know, a week's work worth of workouts. Whatever your excuses turn into, I get it. I've been there. Um, I still do it from time to time. But the key in staying consistent is actually being consistent, you guys. <laughs> Even in the holidays. And if you've got specific health goals, if you've got fitness goals, physique goals, the holidays can make or break you because it really shows where your mindset is at in the grand scheme of things. So basically, when shit hits the fan, that's when your mentality goes, that's when your habits can fall short or they can help you. So by making this a lifestyle and by realizing that not every day has to be perfect and just continuing to push through, you can actually make some good progress during the holidays. So I'm not saying that you have to be perfect. Um, I think it's important to find that balance between consistency and actually enjoying yourself. So whenever you do go to family get-togethers, um, if you've got a friend's party to go to or something of that sort, I don't think it's necessary unless you're prepping for a show or you have to meet weight for a, a specific goal, like a powerlifting competition or something like that. It's not necessary to bring your own Tupperware or bring a food scale or have to track all of your food to the gram and obsess about it. I think that can be very unhealthy if you do this all of the time. Um, so if you've got a special occasion like that, be mindful, you know, make sure you get in some good quality food. Um, leading up until that party, you can be on track, but then whenever you go to your party or your event or whatever it is, just enjoy yourself. Don't let it turn into a time to binge and do not let it morph into the next day because when that happens, it can have the snowball effect and one day turns into the next and then you go into the weekend and you think that, you know, I've already messed this up, so what's the point in tracking? So just let that moment be what it is. Enjoy the food. If you go overboard, so be it. Just pick right back up the next day like it never happened. And I tell my clients this all the time. I don't think that you can hear this enough because we get so caught up in either being perfect or being terrible that we don't realize that there's a lot of gray areas in this journey. And those gray areas, you can actually make progress. <laughs> like this week, I had Thanksgiving. And no, not this week. Gosh, it's already well into December. So last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was, we had Thanksgiving. And I enjoyed myself. I didn't track my food. I ate definitely a lot extra. And Friday, I would have in the past, I would have said, 
you know, I already messed up. Let me just eat the leftovers. Let me get them out of the house. And then probably Saturday we would have gone out to eat and I would have said I already messed up. I just, I just want to enjoy myself. So just continuously staying off track. I probably would have skipped workouts. But this year, Friday continued on as a normal day. I worked. I went to the gym. Uh, Matt worked. And I just treated it as a normal day. And that's where the consistency is. Although I might have not been perfect, my workout probably wasn't the greatest, I still did it. And by doing that and just getting right back into that normal mentality of getting things done, I was able to continue that into the weekend rather than set myself up for failure over and over. It is never too late to get back on track. It is never too late to get back into that mindset of making progress. And I always, I tell my clients too that every day, every meal is a new opportunity to continue towards your goals. So don't let one bad meal or one off meal, one off day distract you from the long term. And I don't care if you get in one workout a week, it's better than none. So if your weeks are crazy from now until New Year's, that's fine. Let them be crazy. But try and do what you can and do your best in every opportunity and every day. Do what you can with the resources and situation that you've been given. And I can guarantee that you can make progress over the holidays. So, yeah. That's going to be my rant today um, for staying on track during the holidays. If you guys need help, I would love to chat with you, whether it's in the comment section or if you want to email me um, for online coaching, whatever it is, I'm here for you guys. Hopefully these videos will help keep you guys focused because I do want to include some workout footage. I am going to be working out as normal. Um, I don't plan on taking any days off other than, you know, like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, but I think those are on weekends this year anyway. So yeah, I'm still going to be here working. I hope you guys are going to be here working with me. Um, leave me a comment below if you are staying on track during the holidays. If you're staying consistent during the holidays, remember it's not about perfection. It's just that overall consistency, that good mentality with your body, with food and with workouts. And that's where the progress is going to happen. So, yeah. Let's continue on with this awesome day. And I will see you guys in, like, two seconds. Got out of the rock gym. And it was a pretty good workout. I didn't get any footage because my camera died. Um, my actual, like, my vlogging camera. So I'm just using my phone right now. Um, and I got this wrap. It's... Il Sol Rojo Vizzy Wrap by the Green Cart. It's quite delicious. It's got brown rice, black beans, chile, hummus, guacamole, roasted corn, sauteed onions, and carrots. Freaking delicious. I realize this lighting is really good. Um, and then Christmas shirt of the day. I know, it's the best shirt you have ever seen. But right now I'm going to slowly make my way back to Austin. I might stop by Target and then um, maybe get some Starbucks for Matt for the way home, and then we're going to watch Christmas stuff night, so. I wanted to touch one more time on the topic that I was, uh, talking about this morning regarding staying on track during the holidays and, um, how to do that. And I want to let you guys know, I want y'all to enjoy the holidays. That's the biggest priority. I want you to enjoy this lifestyle. I want you to enjoy your time with friends and family and whatever you have planned. But I don't want your health and fitness goals to hinder your life in general during the holidays as well. But I also don't want them to be so distant during this time that you feel like all is lost. I hope that makes sense. Um, basically, my goal for you guys, for my clients, for myself, for everybody that is aiming to be healthier and feel better and perform better and look better, that's always, you know, something that people want, whether they want to say it or not. Um, my goal is for 
for it to become literally a part of your lifestyle. I don't want you to feel like you have to adhere your life and your social life and your family life, everything. I don't want you to feel like you have to adhere that to a diet or to a workout plan. I want that diet or the workout plan to work into your lifestyle. A lot of people try and go to these extremes and try to make their diet or their life fit into their diet. Like their, their life revolves around their diet. But that's not sustainable. So that's not the goal. And I'm going to grab the mail real quick. Anytime that you try and fit your life around a diet, it's going to be that. It's going to be just a diet, just something temporary, not something that's going to be lasting. If it's literally part of your lifestyle, you will be able to keep up with it during the holidays. It might not be perfect and that's okay, but you're going to be able to keep up with it. And that's my goal for you guys. I just wanted to make sure and clarify that. Um, I think I got all my thoughts out earlier, but I was just thinking about it again today. So yeah, I'm getting home and Matt and I are going to watch a Christmas movie tonight. So stay tuned to see which one. So the decision that we're trying to make right now is what Christmas movie we're going to watch. It's between Home Alone and Christmas Vacation. Not The Grinch. Not The Grinch. Why? Not tonight. Alright. My vote, Christmas Vacation. Oh, I thought you were going to say Home Alone. What's your vote? Uh, Christmas Vacation. Then it's decided! That was easy. We're watching Home Alone! I'm also making dinner. Um, I have... I my first thingy on, so... This is scrambled tofu, green beans, zucchini. I'm gonna put some ketchup on them green beans. Matt has some little crabless bowl thingies, crumb yeah. bowls, right here. Green beans, mashed potatoes, and a little bit of tempeh bacon. So, it's just like a hodgepodge of dinner stuff, and then... Dessert will be sludge and. What is mine? <coughs> Got <Captain> Grunch. <laughs> Got hot. <laughs> okay, movie time. Dinner and movie. Oh, hey, DLB. That's a good. That's a good angle for her. <laughs> she wants to fight. Admit it. You're Just welcome. Admit it. You're welcome. So good. We're gonna watch.